I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. To the Minnesota Vikings offensive line, right? It's time to demand respect. Not only demand respect, dig me, but earn respect. Go take respect on that field, man. How many years has it been where the offensive line of the Minnesota Vikings have been the liability on the team, the weakest link on the team, heavy? Of course, you can throw some other positions in there as well, but the O-line heavy has been a liability, dog. Brian O'Neill, they still disrespecting him. Even he has some of the best stats at left tackle in the league. Still disrespecting him on PFF grades, dog. They don't give Dara Saw his true props. They don't give him his true credit of how well he really played last year as a rookie, getting thrown into the fire, heavy. The NFL still thinks the Vikings O-line is soft, dog. The linemen laugh at the O-line, dog. They've been laughing for years. You know, the Packers, the Darius Smith, he's with the Vikings now, but he did terrorize the Vikings. I'm sure he was laughing at one point. I'm sure he was counting his fingers with the number of sacks he was going to get on Kirk Cousins, heavy. I'm sure he was adding his stats up as he thought about the game because he knew he was going to eat against the line every time, heavy. Hey, fans, do you remember, do you know Akeem Hicks from the Bears who annihilates Garrett Bradbury year in, year out, who constantly, consistently, week by week, every time they play the Vikings, bench presses Garrett Bradbury every snap, every play, heavy. Did you see him in the game last year? He was dominating, and he wasn't 100%, right? Garrett Bradbury, you've been a liability for too long, dog. If the coaches believe in you enough to keep you, which I don't see why they would, I question that move ultimately. But like I say, you have to trust the process, trust their knowledge of the game and of players and the personnel they have been around. So maybe they know something the fans haven't seen or don't know, right? But Bradbury, you've been ass for the Vikings. Heavy, dog. And that's just facts. You have not played your part. Udo, you had a thousand penalties last year, dog. <laughs> Talking to the O-line as a whole, man. To the new personnel on the offensive line. Jesse Davis, Chris Reed, Ed Ingram, etc. And the other rookie they acquired in the draft. I don't want to mess his name up, so you know who I'm talking about, though. It's time for all of y'all to step up and contribute, dog. Get mean, get tough, get rough, whatever. Have the mindset of dominating, dog. Week in, week out, getting respect. Be mentally in tune with each other as well. Prove the NFL wrong, dog. All the analysts, all the fans, right, who are tired of the O-line getting dominated. Of course, it'll be mistakes here and there. And, you know, you, you may not win every battle, but damn near win them all. Try to play hard, man. Get down to the nitty gritty. Get mean. They say Chris Reed is mean. I hope so. Heavy. It's time for the Minnesota Vikings offensive line to change the narrative, dog. Heavy. Period. Point blank. Bottom line. It's time to earn respect. It's time to produce. It's time to get pancakes. Time for Dalvin Cook to get what? 2,000 plus yards rushing, right? Let's get it. Think high, man. Have high standards for the team and for yourselves. Same thing I tell myself, right? Have high standards, dog heavy. No more taking mediocre, average, horrible, piss poor for an answer, dog. Got a new regime in, new coaches. It's time for the offensive linemen to step the hell up for the Vikings, dog. And you know Kirk Cousins need the protection. You know he needs a little more extra time. Protect your quarterback. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picks, you hear me? Skull. Like that.